What is going on my peeps, man? Versatile is back with another video. Back here to talk about Black Panther. That war for Wakanda DLC, ya boy. Say. Got that purple rocking for this video. How many of us have been looking forward to this DLC? This major update for the Marvel's Avengers game. Something that's supposed to really help expand the game, open the game up, save the game even. With a new hero in T'Challa, the king of Wakanda known as Black Panther. The new UI update that we're gonna be getting. We're gonna talk about that, some of the enemies, some of the things that I noticed, and pretty much just sit back and see what's cracking. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so that way you never miss my videos. So we can sit back and see what's cracking. And also comment down below if you've been looking forward to Black Panther. Are you ready to play with Black Panther? Are you ready for the new UI update? Are you ready for the new villains and enemies and potential other aspects and features of the game? Are you ready for those Black Panther outfits? Let me know down in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get into the video, baby. So, three hours, <laughs> kind of funnies. Game over Greggy or uh, Greg Miller and Sandra Saad, or I think that's her name, Sandra Saad, yeah, uh, who played Kamala Khan. They hosted the launch party for Marvel's Avengers, talking with some of the voice actors like Chris Judge and Deborah Wilson, who played Siri in Fallen Order, of course, and then also is playing Okoye in this game, uh, Erica Luttrell, who's playing Shuri, uh, Dave Fenoy, who's playing Zawafari. Those are just some of the key players, key characters, key elements of the game that we're looking forward to and that we got to see or hear from about their experience shooting and playing or basically, uh, you know, acting for the Marvel's Avengers, specifically the War for Wakanda DLC. Sorry about that. PlayStation is ready. It's calling me right now. So what are some of the things that they actually talked about in uh, that, that uh, you know, in terms of this game. Well, one of the things they got into was the expansion of Wakanda, how big it is, how lush it is with rich history for the Wakandans, uh, the different areas of the, the kingdom, essentially, with uh, Shuri's laboratory, with the throne uh, room or the palace area. You got the, 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 I think it's called the spiritual annex or something like that, but that's basically where Zarafari is. Uh, you have that aspect of it. In terms of roaming about Wakanda, you see how just how big it is, how they've changed different aspects of the game, such as the strong boxes and some of even the the uh, little fragment boxes that you crush and break open just to get some fragments and different resources, how those are even now changed and adapted for the space of Wakanda. And they're not the same old, same old as we see in every other place every other biome that we have in the Marvel's Avengers game. They showed that off and I thought that looked really good. I thought that looked really, really clean for the game. They also talked about how Crossbones plays a role in the story and how they wanted to launch Black Panther with two villains or two villain sectors basically in terms of Crossbones, one of how basically Avengers turn him into a villain of theirs. And of course the main baddie in Ulysses Claw, AKA Claw. And yes, as previously mentioned and or predicted, AIM is bankrolling Claw to go through Wakanda and steal Vibranium. And he's trying to do that by means of sonic refractors uh, or sonic fractors rather to help to basically extract Vibranium from Wakanda. And of course, if you read any of the audio files, the codex, I believe one is in 8A Preparations and another one is in um, Monica's lab. If you read any of those audio files or even listen to the audio files within the game, they talk about how Monica wanted to steal Vibranium. They had already stole some or got their hands on some, but they wanted more and infiltrating Wakanda was in their plans. And we now get to see that play out in the story for War for Wakanda. Yes, although you see Hawkeye and Kate Bishop somewhere in the Wakanda space, you see that this takes place right after the story campaign as well. So whether or not they found a way to interweave what's happened with Kate Bishop and uh, Hawkeye into the story as well, or this story then leads into their story, you know, either way, it, it kind of feels MCU a little bit from that perspective because we know like the movies don't come out in chronological order. And so having that kind of play and twist with the Kate Bishop DLC and the Hawkeye DLC to come out, even though that's later, in the actual story and then you get the chronological story 
puzzle piece in War for Wakanda that actually takes place right after the story. I think that's pretty neat. I think that's pretty cool. And as we see, a lot of people are hyped for it. So at least from that perspective, it is working. We, you know, the, the, the game officially launches tomorrow as a recording of this video. But we get to see that aspect of Wakanda, the enemies that we're facing. And even in the game, of course, they kind of give you hints into specific gear that you can get for your hero or for even Black Panther for that matter to deal better deal with certain enemies, certain overcharged type enemies, you need Sonic gear. So you got to see that aspect of the game. We got to see a ton of gameplay. Now, granted, I feel like they could have showed us a little bit more in terms of the breadth of, or how many different types of takedowns Black Panther has. They definitely only use the same <laughs> takedown for Black Panther. And then his fighting mechanics look really clean. And much like Captain America, uh, and Hawkeye, there is a it, what appears to be a large category of melee combos for Black Panther, in including an uppercut swipe uh, or slash. You got the pounce ability. You got the ability to string together just many different types of combos. His daggers actually boost like melee damage, so it's like a melee buff, which is pretty interesting because I thought that would have been more ranged. But the fact that it actually improves his melee damage is amazing in itself you got to see the, the spear being thrown several different times we also got to see as they talked to some of the developers later uh in the harm challenge using black panther in a more powered up state at that point they had him at like power level 141 that person individually had their black panther kind of suited more in the valor or heroic based area but you know a lot of us are thinking op melee builds for black panther because that's how beast mode he is and i like that now what also they showed was the different puzzle pieces in terms of being able to open different parts of wakanda much like the vaults and different little you know container areas where you can get additional strong boxes but you have to hit four things in order to open it like four mechanisms or two mechanisms or one mechanism well black panther has its own style of doing those puzzles which is a little bit more sophisticated or i would say challenging and i'm glad i mentioned it before but kind of uncharted like in terms of being able to open those map areas to get those additional strong boxes and resources and i thought that was a nice clever you know addition to the game itself because it really adds variety to the game with black panther so that's something i'm super psyched about and one of the things that me uh aika uh menma and drippy was talking about on chat the other day if you guys didn't catch my five hour uh, stream uh, yesterday as a recording of this video, we was on voice chat and we was going crazy over the different outfits we're gonna see for, for, for Black Panther. And I think that's something that really excited us because we got to see a glimpse into just like six or seven of his suits. He has a, like a blue and gold like suit, like gold inlay. They got a, a green and gold inlay with like a, like a, a cheetah skinned like, you know, cape uh we got we saw a red and it was called like the blood of the panther and like that looked really clean it was like red that's probably gonna be one of my favorite suits and we had a, a white one uh that which was basically a white version of his main suit and then of course they didn't highlight him but you saw like at least two royal garb based outfits for him sitting right there as well they they're doing and then of course there's several different suits that they've already previewed us which we probably will see in the marketplace tomorrow and potentially on Thursday, we might get an MCU suit for Black Panther. But the way the developers was acting in terms of trying not to uh, talk about information, I'll get to that in a second. But that's the excitement that we all have for this game is melee builds for Black Panther and those outfits. And we got to see all of that in this preview, this war table, this three hour launch party that they had for War for Wakanda. And I'm telling you guys, I had never been more excited tonight. I'm about to go watch the Black Panther movie just to see any other teasers or Easter eggs that we might get in terms of any MCU related content for Marvel's Avengers. That's how hyped I am because this, this game is gonna be really good. You also saw how like, how stacked, like swole, built T'Challa was. And you also see, if you wanna say his arrogance, his, his confidence for sure as being King of Wakanda and being Black Panther and how him and his sister kind of butt heads a little bit in terms of, you know, if not his leadership, how he goes about being Black Panther. So in terms of story and character development, it's gonna be really interesting to see 
how that plays in the story overall and then going forward even maybe shuri's potential involvement in the story almost maybe even becoming a playable hero who knows but that's something that really excited me about black panther some of the things that we got to see what else did we get to see uh gameplay we just saw a ton of gameplay uh the spiders are ca called crawlers and i would imagine that the larger one is some you know larger crawler type name but the, the spiders are called crawlers which is interesting you got to see how a lot of these enemies are good at trying to evade black panther and how like some of these shields are impenetrable unless you use his kinetic blast or that sonic gear that they <coughs> mention uh in the video or in the tutorials for the new claw faction of enemies so again good job in terms of that i can't wait to see how big this update is going to be tomorrow i'm guessing it's going to be 10 to 20 gigs since it is update 2.0 it's bringing a new biome it's bringing a new hero it's bringing new villains it's bringing a new ui update which again we got to see showcase and it looks like you can update all your gear at the same time too now you know with this new gear loadout screen so as we're leveling up you know black panther we definitely get to level up at the same time a bunch of gear without having to go one by one by one so that's something that also very much so interests me and as i was saying before i wanted to mention later i really hope that the devs do a better job of trying to answer questions or allow more information to be said i understand that they were they, they scarred themselves by trying to promise things and they weren't ready to promise those because the game was not in a good enough position to launch a lot of the content. So that's why they backed off of a lot of their communication. I really hope that they don't make that mistake for year two or throughout year two and be more vocal about what's to come instead of waiting a week or two days before something actually launches. Give us that, that opening, give us that transparency, be open to share even some minor details. You know, we know that there are MCU skins for Black Panther. There's at least two. And if you count Killmonger's suit as technically a Black Panther suit because Killmonger did steal it, right? He did wear it as him, for himself being crowned the new Black Panther. So technically it is a Black Panther suit. But if you count that, that's three. And then there's at least one other suit uh, or yeah, there's one other suit that Shuri showed T'Challa in the in the MCU movie Black Panther. There was like three suits that he could have chose from. So you have a total of those three suits plus the Civil War suit. You have at least four suits that Black Panther could have from the MCU. You could at least say we, you know, we're definitely gonna be looking into MCU outfits for Black Panther instead of being very evasive. So I think for me that that was a little bit concerning in terms of that because although we all feel and know that we probably will get MCU skins for Black Panther. Hearing that from the devs make it that much more confident for us, or makes us more confident rather, that we'll see such content for Black Panther. And then the other thing I would say is another point of contention or concern is their lack of want in terms of being transparent about any Spider-Man information. Yes, they've mentioned that he's coming this year. So if we know he's coming this year and there's only three and a half months left of 2021, then at least communicate minor details. You, know, you guys are gonna enjoy our Black Pan I mean, our Peter Parker. You're gonna enjoy our, our take on Spider-Man. There's some things that you're gonna appreciate, you know, in terms of some similarities, some differences. Uh, the attitude of our Peter Parker is a little bit different. So we're looking for, like something like that. It doesn't, like, but they act like Spider-Man doesn't exist despite saying he's coming out this year. So I would say another point of concern is that they are more transparent when it comes to Spider-Man. Even though this is focused on War for Wakanda, I, I get that just being more vocal and more transparent, even with some minor details, it just keeps stoking the flames of excitement, right? And hype for your game because you have it right now. You have to you have to seize this moment of hype to build the Marvel's Avengers game so that way we can continue to enjoy content like this coming down the road. And so that's something that I really, really hope that they can mention. Shoot, even with Spider-Man, he's gonna be the, what? The third hero, I would say, that's gonna have a ton of different outfits that we're all gonna like. Just giving us a glimpse of something really would have helped us really get hyped. I understand they didn't want to take too much away from Black Panther, but in addition to Black Panther, knowing like we got to see a, just a teaser of Spider-Man is something that we all are looking forward to. And hopefully we hear about him much sooner rather than later, as, you know, in other words, cl uber close to the date, kind of like this.
you know, they did a good job leading up to Black Panther the last couple weeks, but just being more open with information, I think we'll appreciate that a lot more, especially when you're in streams like the like the, the Summerfest games or when Square Enix had their showcase and you had to dig through Twitter and different YouTube videos to find the official date or at least some type of a date for the War for Wakanda expansion, that was unnecessary, right? When they had Crystal Dynamics stream, they should have had August 2021 or August 17th, 2021 War for Wakanda expansion will be released or something like that so just being just doing better conveying information and communication is something i really hope that we'll get from crystal dynamics going forward for marvel's avengers now those are my thoughts for the game for black panther for war for wakanda for the the aspects and features that we're going to see let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think what you guys are looking forward to in terms of black panther in terms of spider-man in terms of the future of this game let me know down in the comment section below i will be streaming <clears throat> starting tomorrow when the game comes out when my update is fresh and ready i'm diving straight into the game and i'm going to stream all of it and like as much as i can i'm going to stream all of it i'm pretty much probably going to stream going forward now, outside of dropping a couple other builds that I have completed, like my Captain America build, and my Hulk is like 90% finished or something like that. So I would say I would drop a Captain America build in between all the streaming, but I'm definitely streaming my Black Panther's journey to power level 150 and some some type of a dope melee build for him. So be on the, uh, on the lookout for the content coming this week for Black Panther on this channel. And also let me down, let me know down in the comment section below about other content you want to see in terms of Avengers or in terms of other video games or like video like movies that we are interested in TV shows like the, the MCU related TV shows and movies if, I, if you guys like seeing reviews and stuff like that let me know down in the comment section below but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure you guys ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos that way you can sit back and relax and see what's cracking with your man versatile sign out and until the next video or live stream wait for it and keep it game